Stop hyping up your songs. I know that really sounds backwards, but let me explain. You probably see a lot of mainstream rappers or people with established or large fan bases that are either talking about their album that's gonna drop or talking about their song that's gonna release. And you realize that that generates a lot of hype for you as a fan. And now that you make music, you think that you should do that as well, but that's not the case. Since you don't have an established fan base and you're a small upcoming artist, you don't really have the ability to play with the attention span of other people. I see artists posting trailers or video snippets of their song or previews of their song and a lot of people will like it. The fans will like it. The comments will be going crazy. People will be asking either when it drops or begging them to drop it or just overall positive about hearing this song that they're promoting. But then the artists won't drop the song or it'll just be a preview like a, a rough mix or they're just showing an idea that they had, or they'll be saying that the, the song drops in a month or two months or just not right at that moment. But the problem with that is when the artist does finally decide to drop that song, I know you thought that they would be saving that day and they'd be waiting for you to drop that song, but that wasn't the case. And I see people who have hyped up songs and tons of views, tons of comments, people being like, yo, I wanna listen to this right now. And then when they drop it, it does a few hundred views or maybe a few thousand views and they're not really happy. And then they're wondering, well, all these people said they wanted to listen to it and then I finally dropped it and now they don't listen to it. It's because they don't care anymore. Or the algorithm didn't bless you when you decided to promote your song. So when the song was just being promoted as a teaser, a lot of people saw it. Wow, this is awesome. You had their attention, but you blew it. You had the ability to send them over and get those streams, which is what you should really be focusing on. You had that moment, but you blew it. And then you go to promote the song and the Instagram or the Twitter or whatever social media platform algorithm didn't bless you this time. People didn't see it. And now, unfortunately, since there's hundreds and thousands and millions of artists out there, they forgot about your track and you're never gonna get that moment back. I mean, doesn't mean that you won't have a hot moment in the future, but you're not gonna get that moment that you had. People's attention is so valuable. It is the number one thing is what Gary Vee always talks about. I care about your attention because if I have your attention, if I'm good enough after that point, I can sell you something. If you have a piece of people's attention for a split second, understand how valuable that is. So if the Instagram or Twitter or whatever social media algorithm decides to bless you, make sure that you have something that you can gain off of that other than just likes and comments, which I know we all like a little bit of clout, but if you're an artist, you should be focusing on trying to get streams and plays and to boost your brand in that way. Don't waste the moment. This is why we see celebrities do publicity stunts. For example, MGK disses Eminem and then he drops an EP after. Why? Because he has all this attention. So he realized I need to capitalize on this and release something so I can make some money. You're basically doing the same thing, but in a smaller way, in a more humble way. Another big thing that I'll see is artists will say, should I drop this? Or they'll post on their Instagram story and they'll have the poll, yes or no, should I drop this? Here's a little secret. 95% of people are are gonna say yes. When you say, should I drop this? Nobody's gonna say no. A, a couple people, a couple trolls or people hating on you. But for the most part, people wanna hear the music. Don't give them an option. Say, here's the music, go listen to it. That's it. Don't give people options. Guess what? People don't know what they want. If I asked you guys, what kind of videos do you wanna see? They're gonna say a bunch of different things. People don't know what they want. Just give it to them and say, here it is, go listen to it. Because if they like it, and it's out, they will go listen to it. But if they like it and it's not out, you don't know what's gonna happen. And you don't want to leave your career up to the randomness of whatever algorithm on whatever social media it is. You wanna have as much possible control over it as you possibly can. Stop previewing tracks, stop promoting tracks when they're not out, don't give any hype to anything, drop stuff, then hype it up, then promote it, then try to get people to listen to it. Don't do it in any other order other than that unless you're Travis Scott. Then do whatever you want. You could post a picture of your toe and people will be like, oh my God, is the album dropping? But if you're an upcoming artist, take advantage of those moments 
where you have people's attention. Don't waste them. They're all you got. Thank you for tuning in to the Patrick CC Artist Masterclass. Be sure to check out the previous video if you missed it and definitely stick around and tune into the next video because I have tons of great information that you don't want to miss out on. If you found something helpful in one of these videos, definitely shoot me a DM on any of my social medias and tell me what you learned. And as always, drink water.